Welcome to Ganjinith. Today again we have come to Ganjinith current affairs section. Before uh, I proceed, here to mention that a new section, uh, that is look back section, is uh, going to start soon. Uh, in that first series will be Indian economy. So we'll discuss on Indian economy of the past uh, 15 days. So uh, now let us move to the five QAD section. Please uh, like, subscribe and comment. And uh, we are also in Facebook and Instagram. Please follow us for more updates. So let us move to uh, five QAD section. So here comes the first one. It's on United Nations. India elected as a member of the United Nations Commission on Status of Women. Uh, that is in short form is CSW. The CSW is a body of which UN body? United Nations Economic and Social Council, International Labour Organization, International Monetary Fund, International Court of Justice. And right option is United Nations Economic and Social Council. Let's move to the info box. CSW is the principal global intergovernmental body exclusively dedicated to the promotion of gender equality and empowerment of women. In this CSW sessions, the representatives of UN member states and others, they discuss uh, on the uh, progress of 1995 Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, which is the key global policy document on gender equality, and the 23rd special session of the General Assembly held in 2000. So these are the main two issues which are discussed in the uh, session. CSW consists of one representative from each of the 45 member states elected by the ECOSOC. So on the basis of equitable geographical distribution, uh, like uh, for Africa, there are 13 members. For Asia, there are 11 members. Latin America and Caribbean, nine members. Western Europe and other states, eight. Eastern Europe, four. So in this way, the representatives are being chosen. These members are elected for a period of four years. Mr. Margarian from Armenia is the present chair of CSW. Now, India, after uh, this uh, uh, election, India will be a member of CSW for the period 2021 to 2025. ECOSOC is the principal body for coordination, policy review, dialogue and recommendations on economic, social and environmental issues. UN Charter established this ECOSOC in 1945 which is one of the six main organs of the United Nations. The headquarter of ECOSOC is in New York, US, and Mr. Munir Akram of Pakistan is 76th president of ECOSOC. So let's move to the next one. Please comment if you like this question. Engineers Day in India is celebrated on October 29, September 15, September 10, October 15. And right option is September 15. Let's see the info box. Engineers Day is celebrated to honor the father of Indian engineering, Bharat Ratna. M. Vishweshwaraya. This is his 159th birth anniversary. Born on September 15, 1861, 
he was popularly called sir mb and he is credited for inventing the block system for dams the automated doors what shut during an overflow he got the bharat ratna award in 1955 he was also knighted by george v his most famous project was the krishna raja sagara lake and dam which was india's largest reservoir at that time he was also responsible for founding the mysore soap factory the state bank of mysore among others he was also known as the father of modern mysore we salute to this great uh, engineer of our country to this third third question who has been reelected as rajya sabha deputy chairman manoj kumar jha gulam nabi azad haribansh narayan singh thawar chand gehlot the right option is haribansh narayan singh this is seeing is the nda candidate he bets manoj kumar jha the joint opposition candidate in a voice vote it is his second innings as the deputy chairman of rajya sabha which is the upper house of the parliament in 2018 he defeated congress mp bk hari prasad to win this post for your information the first deputy chairman of rajya sabha was sb krishnamurthy rao and this position is a constitutional position created under article 89 of the constitution the term for a deputy chairman is for 6 years the deputy chairman is competent to preside over a sitting of the council under the constitution he has the same power as a chairman when presiding over the council so this is a constitutional position a very important uh, key position the fourth one it's uh, on world bank who has been appointed as the executive director of the world bank keshni anand arora ashok khemka rajesh khullar aditya negi and the right option is rajesh khullar rajesh khullar is 1988 batch ias officer and he is currently the principal secretary to haryana cm his tenure as uh, ed of world bank uh, which is in uh, washington dc dc is for 3 years he will represent india bangladesh bhutan and sri lanka in the world bank in haryana he designed schemes to check female fertility promote immunization and education of young young girls and fight early marriages of girls by introducing a program apni beti apna dhan in 2009 he received an award of excellence under jawaharlal nehru urban renewal mission from the central government he is also authored viral match india's first medical thriller on hiv launched by the indian cricket team in 2007 in a test match in bangalore in february 2014 he was responsible for a uh, uh, an investment by japan international cooperation agency for the hospital for children in chennai he also led official development assistance loan agreement between india and japan for five indian cities worth more than 250 billion yen that included expansion of delhi metro and wind and solar energy projects fourth one is on sport the recently concluded us open 2020 champions are omen naomi osaka main rafael nadal option b omen victoria azarenka main dominic thiem c omen victoria azarenka main roger federer d omen naomi osaka main dominic thiem 
लिस्ट ऑफ सिटीज नाउमी ओसाका एंड डोमिनिक थे Austria's uh, Thiem became the first man born in the 1990s to win a Grand Slam after beating Germany's Alexander Zverev. This is after 2014 first time someone out of the top 3 that is Federer, Nadal and Djokovic won any Grand Slam. Federer and Nadal didn't take part in this competition, and Djokovic uh, was uh, expelled from this competition or disqualified from this competition. For a record, this is the first U.S. Open title decided on a fifth set tiebreaker. The women's final was between Japan's Naomi Osaka and Belarus Victoria Azarenka. It was Osaka's third Grand Slam title. Uh, now, now let's see uh, some facts. Who won the uh, maximum times of U.S. Open in the Open era? Jimmy Connors, Pete Sampras, Roger Federer. They won five times each in men's singles. Chris Evert and Serena Williams won U.S. Open maximum times in women's singles six times each. please make your comment that's here for today in the qad section please make your comment thank you keep watching kanjanith